In this example, a survey is described and we're asked a question about it, but the Venn diagram isn't given to us. Instead, we're going to have to draw it for ourselves. So we'll draw this diagram. We'll have our universal set. And then within that, we'll have two sets. Because there are two questions that are described in the survey. One is, have you been to California? And the other is, have you been to Washington? As many questions as there are is how many circles we need in this Venn diagram. So we'll label one C for California, one W for Washington, and then we have to take the information we're given and express that on this Venn diagram. The problem is, we know that eight have been to California, and nine have been to Washington, five have been to both. The question is, what numbers do we put in? You may be tempted to write something like this. Eight in California, nine in Washington, and five in both. The problem is that when we say that eight have been to California, we mean there's a total of eight in this left-hand circle. And when we say nine have been to Washington, we mean there's a total of nine in the right circle, which is not what we have right now. So this is wrong. The way to do this is to start with the intersection. So the five is correct. That specifically describes that region in the middle. The five have been to both. Then, because we know that eight have been to California, we've already accounted for five of them. So there are three left, eight minus five, outside the intersection, but still within the California circle. Similarly, if there are nine students who've been to Washington, there are nine people in the right-hand circle, but we've already counted five of them, so we only need four more to make nine. So then when the question asks how many have been to California or Washington, we want the students in the intersection, so we add up three, five, and four for a total of 12. 